How in the world are you? Mike here, Mike's Pressure Washing, Trenton, Ohio. It is story time. So I'm driving down the highway, the interstate. I hear a rattling noise coming from the back of my truck, likely the rig. It sounded something similar to like maybe the ladder tapping the ladder rack but I could see that all my straps were fine. I stopped the truck. I could not find out what the problem was. And then I discovered it. So when I designed this rig, I designed it with these aluminum panels up here for signs, of course, obviously. And these are just aluminum panels that I get from uh, a local uh, metal distributor I might give some props about that here in just a little bit and then I wrapped it myself put the vinyl on there it's great for advertising obviously but when I installed these initially I simply used uh, self-tapping screws and you can see that some of them have come out see there and listen to this so these have, some of these have come completely out. Yeah, it's a mess. So that would have been disastrous if I were going down the interstate or the highway and one of those panels would come off. That could potentially cost someone their life, certainly damage something. Here's my task today is I'm going to be uh, it, it, reinstalling these signs, if you will, using these two inch, quarter inch, bolts these are stainless i got everything from menards all the bolts the nuts the lock washers and then of course the flat washers everything from menards because i got everything at an unbelievable price just over 30 dollars for all the hardware for that for a little bit of reference in my last video when i mounted this reel to this box I used a handful of bolts that are stainless. Here we go, you see it there. Just what, eight of them all together mounting everything here, and it was nearly $30. It may have been over $30, and that was at Ace Hardware. Go to Menards. If you don't have Menards, find a Menards. Got everything that I need, also the tools that I need to do the job. A little um, lubricant in case as I'm drilling through the uh, these are inch and a half um, tubing here square tubing if I need a little lubricant for that to keep it cool I got that and then of course the um, hex driver which I keep on the rig because what I do most of you will do this as well whenever I install something new whatever tool I use to do that I just put it on the rig and so I already had the, uh, the nut driver. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to go ahead and, um, and, and do all the work and then come back and show you what I have. And then we'll talk about signage for just a little bit. So there you have it. When we come back, these will be reinstalled. Okay, I am back and I have this side done. I have to come back and do the other side at another time. Nothing was loose on that side, so it should be good, but it's starting to get dark and I had to eat supper. The grandbabies are here, want to spend some time with them, yada, yada, yada. Hey, let's talk about signs for just a moment. I believe that signage is of the utmost importance and I think it should be said and it cannot be said enough that simple goes a long way. I've had this truck wrap for, I think two months, maybe three months, and it has more than paid for itself. Just this past Friday, uh, I got off work a little bit early, maybe two o'clock, had a great day and was just on X Games mode. Finished up early and on my way home, a guy called me, said, hey, I'm behind you and uh, I need my house washed. So I washed his house right then and uh, made some good weekend money. Anyhow, simple goes a long way. I do my own work, my own design work. I make my own banners, the whole nine yards. As I said earlier in the video, I did all of this myself, and you can see in the original design that it looks exactly 
or pretty darn close to what it looked like in my head when I was designing it. So simple goes a long way. At 70 miles an hour on the interstate, all they're seeing in a blink of an eye is what you do and your phone number. That's all that's needed, nothing more. Jug hugs, get used to that. They will be going into production soon. Get off my back. A lot of people are asking about the jug hugs. So let's talk about these bolts. Stainless with the uh, stainless washer, a lock washer on the back side. Boom, if you can see that. And then a nut as well. This took me, I don't know, an hour or so, maybe a little longer than that, counting supper with the family. I love having a work desk right here. So when I designed that, I designed it so that I could have a work desk and have plenty of room to work on things if need be. And then this makes for an additional work desk as well, or workspace. So there you have it. Well, I'm happy with that. You can see it worked out great. Didn't have any troubles. And I feel much better about that as opposed to the um, to the screws that I had there before that weren't working. So these go all the way through and I'm happy with that. Hey, if this is the kind of video that you enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell tab if you would like to be alerted to future videos. This is just kind of the thing that I really enjoy and I enjoy everyone's videos. You're doing a great job. But liking and subscribing, hitting the bell tab, leaving a comment, all of that helps the channel and I would greatly appreciate it. I almost never watch a video on YouTube that I don't at least hit the like button and uh, and subscribe. And many times, in fact, I almost always comment because I know it helps their channel. So, all right, there you have it. Hope you enjoy. And uh, till next time, wash on.